Loki Seth. We're going to play with Loki in this match. We just got him last night as part of the July Fortnite crew. There he is, throwing up the Travis Scott emote. Games.com right now. And it says, no men like him. Loki LaFason enters the Fortnite crew for July. We're going to refer to him as Loki. Never once have I ever heard him referred to with his last name. From Asgard to the island, the God of Mischief is now joining the Fortnite crew. Inspired by Marvel Studios' The Avengers, Loki LaFason himself is the headliner of July 2021's Crew Pack. There's also a TV show on Disney+, Plus, which I do not have right now, maybe later in the year. As you can see, Hayseed wants us to put up some signs in Misty Meadows, so that's what we're going to do in this match. Back to EpicGames.com. Inspired by Marvel Studios' The Avengers, Loki LaFace and himself is the headliner of July 2021's Crew Pack. It went live for active Fortnite crew members at approximately June 30th, that's yesterday, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for me. This pack features the Loki LaFacen outfit, his classic accessory, the Loki's Cape Back Bling, the Glow Stick of Destiny, Loki's Scepter Pickaxe, the Chitari Chariot Glider, not of Asgard or any world known, and the Loki's welcoming loading screen, which you saw at the beginning of this match. So we've landed in Misty Meadows, and we're going to look for those signs right now. I believe we are posting signs for Hayseed, and he's looking for his cousin, Farmer Steel. What happened to him? I bet you he got abducted. That's just a hunch. Alright, there's a sign over there. But it looks like someone's raining bullets down from the rooftop on me. So we're gonna duck into this house here, where it's nice and safe. No bandages or med kits, so I gotta look for those. Whenever I see that TV, it reminds me of the Twilight Zone for some reason. Alright, let's get up on the rooftop and assess the situation. Can't go through there. These are some beautiful Danish style houses here. Reminds me of Solvang, California. Let's see if we can get this guy. Got him. Now let's go inside the house and search for some bandages. I did my homework yesterday on my lunch break at work. I went on In the Little Woods YouTube page and I checked. Oh, here's someone. Got him. Wow, that was a surprise for me and them. As I was saying, oh, here's someone else. Got them. First strike. Now, as I was saying, I went on In the Little Woods YouTube channel. He is a favorite of mine for quests, challenges, and he'll let you know where the alien artifacts are. Apparently, they thought there would be five alien artifacts during week three. We're on week four right now, by the way. But there were only four. There was speculation of some being at Holly Hedges, Lockheed's Lighthouse, and some other location I can't remember. However, those will be week four alien artifacts. So keep that in mind. In the Littlewood had four videos, and I watched them all, and when I got home from work, I knew exactly where everything was. Except for two of the signposts here at Misty Meadows, they were not where I thought they would be. We got three of them in this match, which you're about to see. Alright, there's one right there. What is that, the Visitor Center? Reminds me of the Visitor Center in Solvang. Alright, we posted one sign. And let's go back to the other one before I had bullets rain down on my head. Right here. Place sign. There he is, Farmer Steel. Have you seen Farmer Steel? We're looking for him. Or at least Hayseed is. I'm just helping him out. Alright, let's find those other signpost areas. But first, let's see what's in this fish freezer. Ooh, that's a good one. The slurp fish. 
Alright, back to EpicGames.com while we're rummaging around here. More Fortnite crew benefits. Season 7 Battle Pass, monthly V-Bucks, and the June Crew Pack. You guys have heard this before. Oh, here's another signpost. All we need is one more. What do you guys think it is? I'll keep looking around for it. Hopefully I don't get shot at. The pepper comes in handy for running around, searching. Fortnite crew subscribers always have instant access to the current season's battle pass. This means that active subscribers during the present Chapter 2 Season 7 automatically get its battle pass. Alright, let's finish this guy off. He interrupted my jam. You, sir, you're out of the game. If you already bought the Chapter 2 Season 7 Battle Pass, before subscribing during the season, a one-time 950 V-Bucks return will be applied to your account. Make note of that. So I thought there'd be a signpost right there, but there isn't. Let's take a quest. Accepted. 1,000 V-Bucks every month. Active Fortnite Crew subscribers receive 1,000 V-Bucks every month. These V-Bucks are received on the day of subscribers billing date. Signed up on June 28, 2021, you'll be granted 1,000 V-Bucks upon sign up. Then, while subscribed, 1,000 V-Bucks on July 28, 2021, on August 28, 2021, and so on and so forth. Remember, because you received these V-Bucks on the day of your billing date, they aren't attached to when you receive the monthly crew pack. June Crew Pack Mecha Cuddle Master activates. Though the July Crew Pack is approaching, players don't need to worry if they're also interested in June's Crew Pack. As long as you subscribe to Fortnite Crew before June 30th at 8pm, unfortunately that was last night so this is no longer in effect. So scratch everything I'm saying. And they're going to tell you a little bit about Cuddle Team Leader returning as Mega Cuddle Master. We're going to skip all that. We heard about that last month. That's old news. Alright, where's that last signpost? I can't find it. There's an alien spray for you. I got that in the Season 7 Battle Pass. I just gifted my good buddy Jed Wee in the Battle Pass tonight. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be narrating these videos, so make sure to thank him. He's given me much inspiration in what I do here on my Fortnite channel. I always like to light those. They count towards some quest. There's a chest. So which word do you guys like better? Quests or challenges? A couple seasons ago they used to call them challenges. And then they started calling them quests. I think I like the word challenges better. Quests has two S's at the end extra sibilance and it messes with my speech impediment no bueno here's a fun word for you guys sixth six isn't that a crazy word there's a band called the sixth I can't even say it it's so crazy check them out though they're a great band they're from Seattle I think we're just chilling at Misty Meadows. Maybe I'll pick up a pastry. I'm a big fan of the Napoleons. Sometimes I like to get eclairs also. Those are my two go-tos at any bakery. Especially when I go up north to Solvang. They got a nice bakery there. Nice Danish bakery. Reminds me of the Polish bakeries I grew up with over in Connecticut. Whole bunch of Polish bakeries. Good times. My dad used to take me to Polish Mass. I asked him one day, do you speak Polish? He said no. However, he does use the Polish word Jiki Sef a lot. Jiki Sef, for those that don't know, it means spastic in Polish. And I kind of put my own spelling twist on it. And that's the name of my YouTube channel. I also had a band in 2006 called Jiki Sef. We played one show, recorded two songs, and they're up on Spotify right now if you want to check them out. They're also on my YouTube channel. 
Our first single is called Emergency Apartment Removal. It was about a garbage apartment I was living in. Had to get out of there. And the second song is Starship. You know, it's funny, I could almost use footage from this season to make a video for it. Maybe I will. I have another song called Star Ride that also needs a music video. Maybe I'll make a music video for both those songs using footage of riding around in the UFOs. What do you guys think? Sounds like a fun thing, right? I just wish I had the time to do it. Alright, I think we found everything we're going to find here at Misty Meadows. It might be time to move on. I can't find that last signpost. Any clues? If you guys know where it is, leave it in the comments below. I would love to know. Maybe I have to rewatch In the Little Woods video. I might have missed it. I could have sworn there was one by the bus stop and one down an alley. I reckon not. I love how they put all the Marvel and DC characters in the game. I used to be a huge comic book collector. More towards Marvel than DC, but I love them both. We got Thanos, Loki yesterday. We have the armored Batman coming next Tuesday. Good times. Who misses the raptors from last season? There used to be a bunch of raptors running around here last season. Alright, we're going to move on to Hydro 16 and upgrade a shotgun for our daily quest. I like to do the three daily quests. It's an easy 17,000 XP times three. Alright, we're going to go in here first. To turn my green tactical shotgun into blue, I need four more bars of gold. That's the equivalent to opening up one chest or smashing a sofa. I'm sure there's one of either of those in here. Yeah, we might as well take out a bounty. Maybe someone will take it from me and I'll get the gold. Alright, we're on charlieintel.com right now. How to complete Fortnite Season 7 Week 4 quests. Those just hit yesterday. Or at least the legendary one did. I haven't logged into my Fortnite account yet tonight, so I don't know if the epic ones are in there or not. The latest batch of Fortnite's weekly challenges have arrived. So here's how to complete week 4's epic and legendary quests. We're gonna jump right to the quests. Deal damage near an abductor. That sounds easy. Destroy hiding places. Simple as pie. Destroy objects at Retail Row Lazy Lake Pleasant Park for Holly Hatchery. And look at that, I just did my daily quest for 17,000 XP. Hoorah! Experience low gravity with alien nanites or on the mothership. Hunt an infected animal. Travel in a saucer. Abduct an opponent with a saucer tractor beam. That one might be tricky. Alright, and here are the legendary quests. I believe Hayseed is the one dishing these out. Search the farm for clues. That's pretty easy. You just go to Steel Farm and you'll find a couple magnifying glasses. Visit Farmer Steel's favorite places. Oh, here's someone right here. Let's see if we could take him out with the tactical. Got him. 12,000 XP. Not bad. Alright, back to the legendary quest for week four. Place missing person signs in Weeping Woods and Misty Meadows. So I did a few in Misty Meadows. Maybe they want me to go to Weeping Woods and place signs there also. Maybe you can't do them all in one location. That's probably why I couldn't find the other two signs. Collect Doomsday Prepper's Guide. That's a pretty easy one. You could find that in one of these rooms at Hydro 16. And quite possibly it was the room I was just in. But, I'll have to do that in another match. Alright, let's get away from the storm here. Only nine players left. I've talked my way to the end once again. There's an orange whiplash. Not the color of choice I would go with. I like the black or the charcoal. Charcoal gray is one of my favorite colors right now. And someone's taking something out outside here. Alright, I'm going to proceed with caution. And here is the last legendary quest for week four. 
Forage for good, need supplies. That doesn't make much sense. Possibly a typo? Down the bottom of their page it says, Then you just need to collect five food items, which can be found all over the Season 7 island. Now that makes more sense. I recommend just going to the orchard and foraging some stuff there. That's the easiest way to do it. And then after that, you could hit the underground base at Corny Complex and take Dr. Sloan's mythic weapon. There's another mythic weapon you're supposed to get at Hydro 16 if you defeated Zig. It was a mythic ray gun. However, I'm not seeing Zig the NPC anymore. Maybe they took him out. Maybe he'll come back. I found some interesting NPCs at Lockie's Lighthouse yesterday. I ran into Cabby and he wants you to jam out with him and then he splashes you with slurp. That's a pretty good deal. And I also saw Googiemon there, but he's a hostile. After you defeat him, you can get a storm weapon off him. I can't remember which weapon it was exactly. Something's going on here with the parasites. I think a parasite has attached itself to a chicken. There's a parasite on its own and another parasite. I'm getting out of here. The parasites will take your health all the way down to 60. However, they protect your head so no one could headshot you. It doesn't seem like a good trade-off for my style of play. Alright, this is a long shot. Got one hit on him. Let me just build a little fort here. Oh, someone's shooting me from the right. All kinds of action here. And here's a battle that's about to go down. I'm getting out of here. I only have 40 health. You gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them. Let's see if we can get down here and heal up. I got bandages and shield potion. Build a little fort and heal up before I engage anyone else. I like to be prepared before I go into battle. You're too easy to be defeated if you only have 40 health. The small shield potions are pretty fast. And someone's trying to railgun me from above. Oh, and here's someone else. Come on. Got him. I love the tactical. It's my friend. Look at that, I got a headshot. I like the little pumpkin guy with the X's for eyes. Alright, we got a bandage back up. I lost everything I just gained. Only one player left in the game. They must be above me. Up on the tower. I bet you that was the person that was railgunning me. Alright, we're ready to go. Weapons are loaded. Oh, and look at this, a chest. Oh yeah. Large shield potion in effect. And that's where we're going to go in a moment. When the storm starts moving. Hope you guys enjoyed my video from yesterday. That was pretty crazy, huh? Running into three teamers and solos. There's a gold pump shotgun right there. However, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with the tactical in blue. So I'm going to roll ahead with that. You'll see later in the match, maybe if I had picked up the legendary pump, the match might have ended a little bit sooner. Because I did get two hits on this guy with the shotgun. Spoiler alert right there. And I will take that purple assault rifle. I'm trying to get my 1020. That means location and CB talk. Let's see if I can build some quick ceilings here. I'd like to regain my shield. Alright, they definitely have the higher position, but there's a lot of places to hide down here. Let's see if we can drink this before we move on. To this you also. Man, I wish I had a med kit or something. Oh, there's one right there. Am I gonna have enough time to use it? Probably not. I'll try anyways. Here comes the storm. Hot in my tail. No, we're gonna bypass that. And we're gonna move directly to the end of the game. Alright, where'd you go? Oh, there they are. They're using the Ripley skin. Let's do this thing. 
and they built over me. And here I come. Here comes a storm. Right behind me. One, two shots. I missed. And we got him with the SMG. Victory Royale for Loki. I was very excited about this because I literally just got the Loki skin a few hours ago. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I don't have any rewards that I unlocked because all I did was play a few solos games today. I am going to play a whole bunch of creative this weekend. I want to get all those cosmic summer rewards and I recommend that you do the same. Don't forget to support a creator, J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells Jiggy Seth. Boom. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great cosmic summer.